today we are going to talk about the BMW MD1 MG1 ECU. This is the latest ECU out there used on BMW, Ford, the 2020 Supra, Toyota Supra as well, if I'm not mistaken. And a lot of people are asking how to get the ISN out. Now, believe it or not, Flex has the capability of getting the ISN out of this ECU by OBD. And we are going to show you how that's uh, done. As well as you are able to read the full data of this ECU on the bench and we are able to extract the ISN information from that file as well. So let's get to it. One of the unique features about Flex is they came up with the MDG1 cable. And what's nice about this cable is it saves you time and headache. Instead of finding which pinouts into the ECU, you're able to just plug this into the appropriate plugs and get it out. As well as the individual lines that it needs to be plugged into the flex box also has labels. So for example, this blue one says B6, right away you know that goes to B6. And the rest of the wires applies to as well. Now, one of the things you might notice on this bench is a lot of ECUs. And so we kind of wanted to show you the different ECUs and this is just small portion of it where Flex is able to read the information out. You have the B38 where we showed you one of the videos on how to read the full data and uh, we're going to also show you later in this video so stay tuned on that. A lot of viewers had asked us how we figured out that this ECU is the MEVD1723 and there's an actual free service by Flex which allows you to enter the part numbers of these ECUs in and it would actually give you all the compatible ECU part numbers for that ECU, as well as the type of ECU it is. So we're gonna go through that later in the video. But as you can see here, we have the B38, N55, N20, MSV70, to 80, to 81, 81.2, 85, and now we got the MD1, MG1, and this is the classic old uh, style BMW ECU that we also are able to uh, read through the BDM as well. So uh, let's get into it right now and see how we're able to read the uh, data for this ECU. We open up the Flex software. And again, you can either search by make, model, and year, or in this case, as, as mentioned, this is the MD1 or MG1 ECU. So you can type in MD1 BMW. And the reason I put BMW is because if I put MD1 alone, it would actually pull up ECUs with that label and from other manufacturers. So we go in and there you have it. You can see the different vehicles that use this ECU. This is a nice way of, you know, getting to know how many different vehicles use this type of ECU. So that uh, search helps. So here we have the MD1 SVC 5777. And there you can see the different connection types that this ECU is able to handle. So we got the OBD, uh, very important to have a 50 amp charger on the vehicle as well. And in future videos, we'll talk about the TCU, or I should say transmission control unit. And this is an area where Flex is able to also read data from the transmission control unit and write it into a used or brand new TCU. And this is the 8HP transmission. So here, if we select OBD for the ECU, we'll show you where it actually has the option of reading the ISN or what all options are available through that. So as you can see here, you're supposed to use the green OBD plug and there you have it. If we had the vehicle on site and we would connect that in, we were able to connect. And right here is where you're able to read the ISN. So where this ISN feature comes in handy is, let's say for example, you're trying to do an all keys loss situation and your IM608 or any other tool that you're using is not able to pull up the ISM through the FEM module. And so what you can do, or through the OBD, through the ECU. So what you can do is you're able to read the ISM with a flex 
through the ECU. And once you get that ISN, that is the missing piece of information needed to complete the key procedure through the FEM. And so that's one way of using the ISN. Another way of using it is, let's say for example, you wanted to marry another FEM module into the vehicle. You're able to pull out the ISN from the DME and then write it into the FEM. Or if you are trying to replace the ECU for whatever reason, you're able to modify the ISN in the donor ECU to match the immobilizer ISN. So these are different case scenarios for when you when you need to get the ISN out. So in our case, we have this on the bench. So we're gonna select bench. And this is where the plug comes in handy. So if you don't have the plug, you'd have to individually use the pins and the wires to connect to the flex box. But having the ready-made plug speeds up the process. So in this case, this goes to plug number one. And this goes to plug number four right there. Make sure it's aligned properly. And there you have it. Connected to the ECU. Again, these are labeled to be connected to the flex box. Really easy. Again, you look at the label B6 and right away you come in, connect it to B6. Once you have that connection in place, you let the software do its magic. All right, so there we have it. We have the connection to the ECU. As you can see, the chip type, which is the microcontroller in there is the SPC5777. This chip ID is like the serial number of the microprocessor. And this is all the flash sectors. And this is the internal EEPROM and the different sectors as well. And there you have it. You're able to pull or read the full data of the ECU right here. Or if you want to read the flash only in, so that you can do some DTC offs or tuning or any other aspect um, is where the flash is or the EEPROM. So in this case, we're just going to do a full backup read of the ECU. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the video here. More videos to come. Make sure you visit our website as well. Join the mailing list. More exciting news to come. We have classes coming up. We have more videos coming up. We have new tools coming up, new software coming up. And there you have it. And now it's going to give us the option to save the file right here. You can save it. As you can see here, this is the full backup file, and this is the EEPROM and internal flash. So, fairly easy process. Um, what we're going to show you next, as we promised earlier in the video, is some of the viewers were wondering how to figure out what type of ECU is compatible for these different ECUs, or what type of ECU is, is called. Like, for example, this is the B38 or MEVD. Now, if you look at the sticker here, you're always going to see these uh, a part number that starts with a zero two or zero. Now we will show you a feature through Magic Motorsport. So once you get the tool through us, hopefully you're able to set up an account with Magic Motorsport. Among other things, which we'll show you here, these are all different features that Magic Motorsport can offer through their expertise and uh, backend service. But more importantly, what I'm going to show you today is this ECU translator number. And you can read through the description here. So here's what it says. You can use this service to recognize the model of your ECU if you only know the hardware number Bosch in Bosch or vehicle part number format. And here it says for the Bosch format, always use the full number including the zero prefix and it's an exact 10 digit number. And so that's what you would do. You would pretty much select Bosch number and in the title, we would enter the number, which I already did before, and it's an automatic service. So once you submit that, it's processed on the back end, and within seconds, you would get a response, MEVD 17.2.3, and these are all the different part numbers that are compatible for this ECU. This is a very unique feature that you have here because a lot of times you can get overwhelmed with all the different part numbers, all the different ECUs, but when you have these type of facilities available to help you, it's easier to sort out and find, you know, the compatible ECUs out there and the type of ECUs out there. So hopefully this answers that question. But to sum up today, we've pretty much gone through the process of uh, reading the information out of these new BMW as well as 
the Supras, where you're able to read the full data with the Flex using their harness, and more importantly, pull up the ISN information that's needed to either create keys or marry modules together. Hopefully you learned something today. Uh, if you liked the video, like, share, join, subscribe. And as always, until next time, thanks for watching.